Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be going over going over part 2 of the 3 part series, maybe a part 4 if you guys hit the subscribe button, of um, my uh, series on how to upgrade your gear. To this episode, we're going to be going over Rebirth Flames. So, for those of you who don't know, but have probably noticed, on each one of your items, there is this yellow tint... Um, on your gear that gives you random lines that could be anything from stat, attack, all stat, whatever. On your weapons, it's going to be mostly attack, IED, boss damage, uh, etc. And you might be wondering, where do these come from? How do I change them up? Uh, do they get any better? Because you you obviously will notice that some items have much better, uh, we call these flames, um, than... Uh, other gears of the same type. So, like saying, I'm saying two gloves might, two of the, let's just use for example here, two Absalav gloves might both have uh, different uh, flames. And that's because you can actually reroll them. They are, are another RNG aspect to, for Nexon to take all of our money away. I'm just kidding. Um, It's actually a great implementation to the game that Korean Maple Story had for a long time, but finally got sent over to GMS. That's pretty much the history. Um, so for reboot, um, you're only ever going to be using two types of flames. I think this applies to normal servers too. You're only ever going to use the powerful rebirth flames or the eternal rebirth flames. This one's all red. It's pretty easy. Powerful red. Eternal is going to look a little green with a little rainbow tint to it. Um, but basically each level of gear has a different um, like cap. So... Um, for example, the highest amount of stat that this glove can get might be 56, might be 70 something. But if we were to go to a level 180 item, the highest stat might be. Uh, I could just give you the real one, real data. Um, so let's say for a level 150 glove, a tyrant glove, the highest stat we might be able to get is 56 for a single stat. Um, and then we can pair that up with um. Or we can compare that to a level 160 glove, this Absalab, which um, the highest tier flame would be 63 stats. So that's when you know that you've gotten the highest stat possible from your item. And obviously that changes depending on whether it's comboed with a double stat tier line or whatever. It's, it's really confusing. I ignore all of it because it's really kind of irrelevant trying to understand it. But for those of you who want to look at a chart because I know charts make things easier. Here is a screenshot of basically everything you need to know. 200 is irrelevant. I don't think there's any like relevant 200 level gear right now besides the Genesis weapon. And if you have that, I don't think you need this video. But uh, we're primarily looking at the level 150 and the level 160 gears 150, which is going to compose of primarily your CRA gear. And your 160 is going to be your Absolab gear. Um, now you might notice I don't cover level 140, which happens to be, you can pause the video if you want to read that over, it's really irrelevant. It doesn't really cover the Golux gears. Um, that's because Golux gears are different. Um, Golux gears are different in that um, they aren't dropped from a boss that Korean Maple Story also has, so their flames are heavily limited. So as you can see right here, this pendant has a 44 luck line that is very high stat for this item. Keep in mind a level 150 item uh, to have 44 stat, that's just below tier 6. So um, this is very rare on items like this because um, this item isn't dropped in Korean Maple Story. And you'll notice that items that are dropped from bosses that exist both in Maple GMS and KMS have significantly better flames. My example being, let's see if I have a good example. Let's see, uh, I don't really... I don't have a good example on this character, but the differences between, say, like this shoe and my current Absolab shoe, you will almost never see a Pencilier Mage boot with 90 of a stat. Even though, if you, if you were to, even if you were to move it to level 160 range, it'll never get that high of a stat. And that's just because these items aren't dropped by bosses. So there's regular flames, which is on regular items, and there's boss flames which is how I describe them. Other people might say differently, I don't care, this is my video and I'll say whatever the hell I want. <laughs> uh, given that it's correct to my knowledge. So if you wanna correct me, leave a comment down below and I'll endorse it or something. Um, but yeah, so pretty much what you do when you're flaming items, you can see here 5% all stats is very good. 
Uh, Fiverr on all stats is almost a secondary line on a unique potential, which is crazy. But if I were to re-roll it, let's say, boom. Now I have different stat. It says 57 int and 2400 HP. As you can see right here, this actually gives me range. So I'll I'll write down on my chat or something when I'm flaming that this is the current highest range that I've gotten. And I'll keep re-rolling. And if I can beat that highest stat, I'll probably end up keeping it, especially if I beat it by a significant amount. If the number is lower, as you can see, it says 367,000. There's no logic in keeping it because I'm losing range. Now, a lot of people are all caught up in min-maxing, blah, blah, blah. I'm guessing, I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you're probably not at the stage where you're trying to min-max your gear. Um, you just need your basic guideline on what you should be looking out for uh, in terms of upgrading. And I guess that's what this video is for. The people who are just clueless AF and just see these items dropping and don't know what the fuck they're used for. Yeah, I'm going to swear because it's my video and I'm not monetized. So it doesn't really matter. YouTube, please don't demonetize me in the future. <laughs> but as you can see here, this is another good one. 5% all 5 attack. Um, I think this is better than my original um flame but it's still worse than the one i've gotten last time which gave me 424k range this one's very close it's a very good contender and basically when you're flaming what you're trying to do is to just beat the last stat um that's what i always try to do as you can see here wow hp does a lot <clears throat> but uh yeah it's pretty much the same process over and over again it's like rng with anything it's the same with cubes you're trying to roll for potential lines that are better than the ones before <clears throat> this works pretty much the exact same way. You're trying to get a better flame. Um, and you'll see that from time to time bosses drop. I think I already mentioned this. But uh, eternal flames, if you can't, if you somehow manage to get ones that don't expire, you want to save those for your weapon. Because obviously your weapon is the most important item. Um, <clears throat> and a big part of that is because uh, weapons, if they get a tier 7 attack, um, flame... Uh, wow, that gives a lot to my range, but it's still a lot worse than the other one. So I'll pull up that picture again. As you can see here on the right, uh, that's the chart for arcane items. So, and just arcane. If you can see the tier 7 list, you can get 61.5% of the base weapon or magic attack on the item. That is a significant boost to your range, especially if you're using some of the weapons that have higher base stat. Uh, so you can see a staff right here has 200 and... Um, you can see or can you see no as you but as you can see here um if you're reading if you go all the way down the list a staff has 218 magic attack that is more benefit than you're gonna get from rolling stats for days trust me um i've done it uh and rolling in your armor can only do so much because you really only want two or three lines which is stats um, attack or your main primary stat and as you can see here i got a six percent all stat line which is very good 6% is the highest um, percent you can get from these powerful rebirth flames. How does that give me so much range? Um, but as you can see, this gives a significant upgrade. I'll keep that for now just because I don't want to use all my mesos because uh, your boy hasn't been farming. Um, but yeah, as you can see, that gives me a ton of range. Um, and basically, it's like a rep repetition process, right? You go through your gears, what has worse, what has more. Um, and yeah so i guess i'll go over this real quick this is a really quick video because there really isn't much to explain um if you're trying to min max your stats um there's a more in-depth guides on youtube for that this is just touching the iceberg on what the heck this what it, this stuff is but uh, as you can see my weapon is very poorly flamed i say so myself um but yeah you can flame every armor uh, besides your rings, your emblem, your secondary, your heart, and your shoulder, and obviously your badge. Um, it's very strange that it works out like this. I'm um, not really quite sure why. I'm pretty sure someone's going to leave a comment down below if you really care that much. Uh, to me, just knowing why it does or doesn't isn't going to change anything. It's kind of a waste of time to just learn that stuff. You just know that it doesn't work and you move on. But your pendants, your weapon, your belt, your shoe, all of these, except your shoulder, can all be flamed. And uh, if you guys don't like my philosophy of thinking, I do because it's efficient. Um, keeps all the clutter and useless information out of your head space and just keeps your mind focused on the important things. 
and that's what I like to do. If you don't, well, I'm sorry. This is also my channel if I haven't mentioned. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm acting a little blah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just messing around. Uh, it's currently day something of the coronavirus, and uh, your boy's out here dying with cabin fever. So, uh, if you wonder why I'm starting to act a little different, that's probably why, and it's probably the best explanation I can give you. I think I'm funnier. Maybe not. Uh, you can let me know down in the description below. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to keep making videos because I want to. But, um, yeah, that is basically your intro guide to flames. Um, use it on your equipment. Get better stats. Improve your range. Increase your damage. Um, if you really want to min-max it, I'll pull that thing up for a third time. As you can see right here, level 150 equipments. If you get a combination of, like, anything you see above tier 5, so, like, 40 plus stat or 5 or 6% all stat with attack or whatever, you probably want to keep it. This is not min-maxing. This is just what you should, when you hit it, you should know this is good. I won't get this unless I spend another large sum of mesos. I should move on. Obviously, this philosophy applies to everything. I mentioned this in my cubing video. You know, don't get stuck up over 10 stat if you have another item that's just absolute garbage. Um that needs more work because you're going to end up spending so much and getting such a little return when you could just spend it on something else that needs to work more so it's like it's a process it's my philosophy on upgrading it's how i got strong in like a month and if you don't believe me you can watch my video it's like day zero to 30 progression and reboot blah, blah 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 it works it works for me it works for a lot of people uh if you want to spend your mesas efficiently this is pretty much what you're going to have to do Go armor by armor and just see which one has a better flame, worse flame, blah, 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 and slowly upgrade each one until, you know, they're all great. But yeah, I'll say it again, general rule of thumb, if you can get 40 plus stat, 5 or 6% all stat, move on. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be pretty hard to beat those because you're only going to be able to improve in your stat and... Unless you're at the point where that's all you can do, then by all means, go spend 10 billion mesos and get that flame. But, um, yeah, I ain't about that life because I don't know if you guys realized, but when you play Reboot, you tend to farm for copious amounts of hours, and that shit ain't fun. So, uh, later.